Okay. Um, okay, so this was about driving in the dark, designing autonomous vehicles for reducing light pollution. So some background info. This paper is about a proposed development of autonomous vehicles and the incorporation of nighttime lighting. Autonomous vehicles should reduce the adverse effects of light pollution. Some ideas discussed in the paper were dark parking lot and highways. Are ways to show how an autonomous vehicle would work in areas with less light pollution. This study was done using two inter interrelated arguments. The design and infrastructure of vehicles are still unknown. Prima facie should be considered when looking at nighttime light reduction. Only two cast studies were examined, which were parking lots and highways. Some quick facts and some of the problems that were um, through this article was that light pollution is about the negative effects, which are the artificial lighting on the environment that occurs at night. A growing issue from some time has been light pollution and the amount we are putting into the air. Light pollution also has financial negative effects. For example, in the USA, approximately 30% of the artificial lighting that is wasted each year costs about $7 million. So how the system works. When a destination is placed into the autonomous vehicle, the vehicle itself will take over navigation, guidance, and control of the vehicle. When the vehicle is approaching a predetermined off-ramp or exit, the system will coordinate a safe handover along with the backup emergency produce procedures. The backup emergency procedures will be utilized when the driver is unresponsive. So a solution for this is that a, a solution for light pollution is autonomous vehicles. Autonomous vehicles are essentially cars that drive themselves, and recent research predicts that by 2040, most vehicles sold will be autonomous. Now, if there is no use for drivers, that means there will be no use for the artificial lights usually put in the vehicles. Without the lights in these autonomous vehicles, it will reduce light pollution by a significant amount. So some of the pros that this brings is that it will decrease artificial light use. And then an outcome of that will be cleaner air quality and using less energy. Um, decrease in light pollution will help financially. It will offer more drastic energy and cost savings. And it will produce a better balance of lighting along with more light focused on sidewalks and bicycle lanes rather than on highways. Some of the cons of this is that um, for the first autonomous vehicle has still yet to be fully developed and probably won't be ready for sale for some time. There are also many ethical dilemmas because of the general idea of a self-driving vehicle. And crime rates will increase due to there being less lights leading to be more difficult visibility. And car collision rates may increase because now there's full trust in the car rather than you and the person. So the political and economic implications of this is that one problem of autonomous vehicles is that it could spike on unemployment rate. If cars and trucks can drive themselves, that eliminates many jobs, such as delivery services. Although autonomous vehicles may be beneficial financially from a light pollution standpoint, from a political standpoint, it may be the opposite. Government flourish on taxes and the use of autonomous vehicles would cut taxes drastically, most likely giving less income to the higher-ups in the government. And then that's just my work cited.